what can what can we expect when we see you again next week? Well, definitely, it's a continuation of uh, of uh, the episode Escape. I know a lot of fans were asking me if if they were gonna follow up with that story, and this is truly a full follow up of of how that goes. Um, Torres is undercover, and it's his first time going deep undercover, like a long term type of undercover, not just like in and out. So he's like living as that Eddie person, and um. And that's, you know, that that's tough on your psyche. That's very tough on your head, you know, to to be living in that environment with that world and just, you know, breathing it every single day without being able to to turn it off, you know. Um, uh, that's so that's that's what we're going to be seeing into into the relationship with between him and Gloria as well and how that all unfolds. So uh, and I was like, don't. Uh, and then I went to go follow up and we took a couple of episodes off. <laughs> uh, what are the benefits of, of kind of leaving uh leaving it kind of in the air for a few episodes and and leave leave you leave us wanting more right yeah well i'm glad i'm glad that that's how how you feel um i i, I got a lot of messages like what wait, what what where's the story at? where's the follow up so yeah i'm glad that we're bringing it back and i would have i would have also wanted to know how it ended for me so so i'm glad that the writers you know um followed up with it and uh yeah i'm excited for you guys to watch it with with that said i mean even from the moment you guys bumped in together uh you and you and yara had had some pretty good chemistry uh tell me about working with her and uh, she's gloria of course she's the one who we're going to yeah. continue to see with you going forward oh my god yara and i had so much fun since the beginning we became really good friends and it was just so easy to work with her it's one of those actresses uh that that make it really simple you know and uh uh collaborative and fun and you know intense when it needs to be you know so so i i yeah i felt very comfortable with her and um we became really good friends how how is it that as an actor you're able to um add so many layers you know you're an officer then you're undercover and you need to show that to uh to us the audience yeah, it's very interesting, right? Because you have to be now three times removed from your actual person. You are not just Benjamin playing Torres, but you're also Torres playing Eddie. Um, so it can get a little complicated, but as long as you understand the situation that the person is in, so I'm always Torres, right? And the, the, the situation that he's in is he needs to play this character so that he doesn't get caught and so that he can get, you know, whatever he needs. Uh, as long as that's your focus and you're living truthfully in that moment, then everything else takes care of itself, you know, whatever starts slipping. And and sometimes there are moments where you're like, okay, I'm maybe maybe I'm showing a bit too much of of Torres and he would be playing it a little bit. So it's, it just takes a lot of like recalibrating every time you're in a scene, you're kind of like, finding these these moments of like alignment I mean, and how do you manage the tension because uh, it's very different from you know setting it up to meeting the boss to being confronted by the boss and then to and then being uh being paranoid because who knows who might know somebody's already died and and you can be in trouble Gloria could be in trouble and yeah. how, how do you manage that tension Oof, you you try as best you can, but sometimes the tension is there and the truth is that he would feel tense because there's a point where uh, an undercover cop can handle a lot of things, maybe out of experience or or Torres out of his own childhood and, and growing up, you know, he can handle a lot. But there is moments where it's just life or death. And whether you're a cop or an undercover cop or a normal person, you start fearing for your life. And and that's just a human instinct, right? So as soon as it gets to that point, then there's really not much handling. It's just survival. And tell me for you, what has it been like playing Torres, being, you know, growing your character and now being able to have, you know, a couple of episodes really in the spotlight and, and, and you know, going undercover and really being put in danger? Yeah, that's a great question. It's been a beautiful evolution uh, for me as a person and, and for my character as well, finding out more about his life, not in just a textbook form like, oh, he 
put his stepfather in a wheelchair when he was 14, but it's actually like living the scenes and experiencing them in my body, in Benjamin's body. And then uh, it stays in the body. It's like that book says that the body keeps the score, right? Talking about trauma. And the funny thing is when we're acting, um, even though we're acting, our bodies don't know we're acting. If not, we wouldn't be able to, to, to experience the emotions that are experienced as long as it's truthful. So I think that the more I've done uh, heavy episodes with Torres, it's kind of like this body keeps the score of that. And uh, then the next episode, I have all of that information in my system. And then I, I respond accordingly. And so it becomes kind of like uh, acting is such a beautiful thing. It's really kind of interesting that you can just the more experiences you start absorbing on on the actual filming and on the actual living the character the more the work becomes easier uh in the moment because as long as you trust if you're not in your head you see so stay in your head you're dead but if you if you let go of that then it's it's actually becomes like a flow and it's kind of beautiful an amazing answer. Thank you so much for that. Uh, I want to wrap it up by asking you, uh, Chicago PD, it, it, you know, there's there's a reason why there's 11 seasons. Tell me, in your opinion, what has made this show so successful and it keeps it going? I think that it's, uh, well, one, it's a combination of, uh, I mean, the, first of all, the work of, of the, right, the team of writers that, uh, you know, um, and uh, and the people on set that allow us to keep it truthful, like you know, there's someone called uh, Luch on set, Brian Luch. He he was a former Chicago PD uh, narcotics, you know, a, a police, and uh, he always keeps it truthful with us. So you know, having people like that that tell us this is the way it actually would be, this wouldn't, this is too TV, this can't be done, this is that, this is this. That is, I think, what makes uh, this show so powerful. And uh, the combination of also being able to tell a story on an, on an episode uh, and still get kind of like the full beginning, middle, and end of that thing. And in, in whether or not you maybe watched or didn't watch the past one or haven't caught up, you're able to kind of like absorb a story, you know? Um, I think that also makes it pretty, you know, digestible for people. Benjamin, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for, uh, you know, some great episodes. And uh, uh, yeah, I, I was left very much teased. And then I went to the next one. I went, wait, what? Uh, <laughs> so I'm looking forward next week to, to seeing what happens and to continuing your story. Thanks for your thank time. Thank you so and nice much. Thank you, you for, for having me.